Alright, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's who you even call God and Jesus Christ, so called black men. Next, double honors to the head apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, and the elders on down for teaching me the truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to the Hopeful Elect, the brothers you see scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Preaching you how about Shemiah Rashai regards of people here for there. Like I said before, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. I'm going to call this one, um, More Storms Are Coming. You see, you know what I'm saying, Hurricane Irma, she's coming, right? The hurricane that just hit, you know what I'm saying, Houston. You know what I'm saying, that came. You know I'm saying, years ago, Hurricane Ike, that came. You know what I'm saying, um, that hurricane down in, um, Louisiana. Saying that came, more hurricanes are coming, man. Okay, more storms are coming. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you refuse to hear the words of the Lord, man. Okay, as soon as a storm come, you crying your ass off, man. God help me, God this, God that. Well, guess what? God condemned you, God damned you, man. Okay, you think you down for no reason, man? Whoever perished being innocent, according to Job, for and seven, man. Okay? So I got a couple of scriptures proving according to the Bible that more storms are coming and more people are going to die, man. Okay? This is just the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay? The Lord getting ready to kick it into overdrive, into high gear, man, and start killing you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Because guess what? You deserve it. Starting, starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down, hey, this truth has been out on the streets, man. Since the late 60s, early 70s, man. You have no excuses, man. When you when you get caught up in the rap or you have a bunch of mouth shot, you don't come up with no, you ain't got no excuse, man. Okay? Because this word is out here. So the first scripture I want to get, I want to go into the book of Isaiah. And these videos that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Yo, get your act together, man. You know? You could be the next victim getting caught up in a storm, man, okay? And like I said before, through the Spirit, this is just the beginning of sorrows, man. We ain't seen nothing yet, man. The death toll is getting ready to rise, man, okay? Get your act together. So this is Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh of hosts. See, you know what I'm saying? One thing about our power, the word host means armies, man. Okay? Army. You know? You know? Once again, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh of hosts. Look, with thunders. Which, which you've been seeing. Yeah, you've been seeing thunder before, but you've seen it at a massive scale now. So the Lord is visiting us. Every time you see the thunder and the lightning and all that, guess, guess who that is? This is your Howl Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But, but, but what? You see thunder and lightning, and what are people doing? Out on the block, selling drugs. You know what I'm saying? Prostitutes say we're all out on the corner. You know what I'm saying? The man and the woman, someone committing adultery. Why, the, why it's thundering everywhere? You know, are people breaking into things, stealing, robbing, looting? So the God of the Bible says he's going to bring thunder. That's who's bringing the thunder. That's who's killing people with lightning, man. That's who killed all those deers a couple of years ago. You know what I'm saying? You have about Shemiah Shai killed them with the thunders, right? And with great earthquakes. So like that. And with earthquake. So so the Lord, when you see those different earthquakes throughout the four corners of the earth, guess guess who that is? That's your how about Shemiah Shai. That's not, that's not Mother Nature, Okay? That's the God of the Bible. That's not Mother Nature, right? It says, um, and with great noise. And when those storms come through, man, it sounds like, like the other night, man. Sound like a um a locomotive, man. If nobody if you don't know what a locomotive is, it's a it's a train. Okay? A powerful train. That's what these storms sound like, man. Okay? It's like when Hurricane Fran came, Hurricane Matthew came. You know? And all those names are spiritual, just like um Hurricane Irma. That name right there is on, it means on war goddess. You know? When the Lord rain those storms and those tempests, hey, they tear things up, man. Okay? It says once again, and great noise. 
you hear those um, hurricanes or those tornadoes, man, from a distance, it sounds like a train is coming, man. You know something most definitely tests everything up in this site. But then you got our people playing around. Everything that happened down there in Houston, guess what? Everybody's back to their to they madness now. You know? So as the recovery, you know what I'm saying? They get back settled in. They say, you know, they're back into their madness, man. You know? And with great noise. With storm and tempest. So who, who's bringing? The scriptures say the Lord shall vi visit you with all this, man. You know? So the Lord is visiting you with all these storms. Okay? Look at, um, like right now, the, um, not the Bermuda Triangle, but like, like down there in Florida right now as I speak. You got Hurricane Irma down there. Hey, look, it's going to make landfall, man. Okay? I forgot um, what little island, you know what I'm saying, it just left from. But, but some people got killed there, man. But before the storms come, everybody's having such a fun time, right? Partying, dancing, singing, doing all kind of wickedness. And then as soon as the storm hit and tear, tear up every damn thing, then it's, oh God, oh God, help me. No, man. Seek the Lord early while he may be found, man. Because, look, a bigger storm is coming, man. Once again, in great noise, with storm and tempest, and with flames of devouring fire. See, the Lord ain't just bringing the hurricanes and the tornadoes. The Lord is bringing devouring fire too, man. Okay? Look at over there in California, man. Got one of the biggest wildfires known in America's American's history, man. Okay? But then at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You got people gang banging, selling drugs, doing witchcraft, doing all kind of manner of wickedness when all these things are coming, man. Your how about you now shot gonna kill a whole lot of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Because this word is for you. Of course, of course he's gonna destroy these heathens. The so-called white man, Chinese, Japanese, doo doo African, which we're not. Of course, he's gonna destroy them. But he's gonna he's gonna start at the house of Israel first, man. Like the scriptures say. Okay? He said he's gonna start at his sanctuary, man. So you see these dead bodies floating, these dogs, so forth and so on. The God of the Bible is doing all that, man. But our people still playing around, like the scriptures say, man. They're going to see all these things, and they're still not going to repent, man. They're still going to continue in their wickedness, and you're going to die. The Lord says he's bringing devouring fire, and we ain't seen fire yet, man. You know what I'm saying? The ultimate fire, you know what I'm saying, is those nukes, those ICBM missiles hitting America, man. This, that's when you can say you didn't see some show enough fire, man, when those nukes come. And I ain't making this a long lesson. Just bring out some scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai, to let you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians know who's really bringing the storms, man. It says y'all should be visited by the Lord of hosts, man. Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai, with storm and tempest. You know what I'm saying? And earthquakes. And devouring fire, man. Okay? Next scripture, we're going to the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 83. Salakia. Psalms chapter 83. I started um I started 15. Psalms chapter 83, verse 15. So, per so persecute them with thy tempest. Hey, this is a prayer. This is a prayer from who? From King David. Where's well, the song? It's, it's, it's a song or a song of ASAP. But it's a prayer. It's a song. Once again, Psalm chapter 83, verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest. A tempest is a storm. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is persecuting you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and you other nations with tempest, man. And a tempest is a storm, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a destructive storm, okay? And make them afraid with thy storm. I mean, you know right there, see, so just backing up everything that we say, man. You know what I'm saying? A tempest is a storm. It says, and make them afraid with thy storm. So then you Negro, when that storm hit, and tear your shit up, the next thing you know, you're afraid. Guess what? That's your how about shot. He, he got to put that fear back in you, man. 
That's the beginning of knowledge, man. Okay? That's the beginning of Yahweh Bashim Shah accepting you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians when you fear them, man. Okay? Once again, Psalm chapter 83, verse 15. So persecute them. I thought I thought the God of the Bible was all about love. So why is he why is he persecuting you with, with storms and tempests now and earthquakes and devouring fire, man? To look, to get your attention, man. Okay? That's how the God of the Bible gets your attention, man. He starts taking things from you. He starts bringing death and destruction in your life, man. Okay? Since you wanna, since you don't wanna um, accept him, and since you don't wanna acknowledge him, Salakia. Salakia. Since you don't wanna acknowledge his power, since you don't wanna acknowledge his wrath, the God of the Bible gotta start bringing it to you then. So once again, and these scriptures are powerful, man. Hey. Take heed, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. A, a real storm is coming soon. Come, you know that that nuclear fire is coming soon. Come. So once again, Psalm chapter eighty-three, verse fifteen. So persecute them with thy tempest. Damn you, damn right, man. You have a bashim yavashai. Kill two thirds. Kill two thirds. You have a bashim yavashai. Persecute them. They look. They persecuting us, right? They coming up against his servants, right? Starting off with the apostles and elders of great millstone and the men on down. Two thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians and these other heathen nations are coming against us. So you damn right, persecute them. You have a bashim yavashai. Don't let them off the hook. Persecute them with thy tempest, and look, and make them afraid with thy storms. So yeah, exactly, exactly. Cause look, one thing about you know what I'm saying the brother um Tazo Fa, you know what I'm saying from GMS um Thy Will Be Done, he made a wonderful statement on his video, you know what I'm saying that I was watching, you know what I'm saying a couple of hours back. He said the so-called white man tell them that a storm is coming. What do everybody do? They rush to the grocery stores. You know what I'm saying? They 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 clean the shelves off. You know what I'm saying? They buy all the bread, all the water. You know what I'm saying? They take heed to what the so-called white man say. When he come on the, on the TV and say a storm is coming, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, they take heed to what the so-called white man is saying. But we come out there week in and week out and tell them that a real storm is coming, real devouring fire is coming, that America's going to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even bat an eye, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't turn their head. They fan their hand. The brother said they don't even bat an eye, man, when we tell them that America's going to be destroyed. But the so-called white man tell them that a hurricane is coming, um, a whirlwind is coming, a tornado is coming. What they do? They flood. They're at the stores right now, as I speak, cleaning off the goods off the shelves, man, grabbing water, so forth and so on. But we tell them a real storm is coming. We tell them Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming, the God of the Bible is coming, and you Nick Rose Latinos and Native American Indians, y'all don't even bat an eye, man. You know? You just go somewhere and you get you a drink. You go somewhere, you get you something to eat, and you, and you laugh it off, man. The next thing you know, when you have a bunch of shot, take your crib and send it down the street. You know what I'm saying? By, by way of water, with you in it, then you want to hoop and holler. Then you want to, then you want to try to get ready. You know what I'm saying? You should have been getting ready when you heard the message, man. You know what I'm saying? When you heard Yahweh Bashim Yahushai speaking through his service, and we most definitely bring out scriptures proving that the Lord speaks through us. You people don't bat an eye, man, okay? You don't go home and get prepared. You don't go home and grab your Bible and start reading. Nah, you ignore us. The next thing you know, you have a bunch of shot, bring that tempest, bring that storm, bring that devouring fire, bring that earthquake. Then you then you're caught up in it, man. So yeah, persecute them, you have a bunch of shot. Make them, make them very afraid. Make these niggas, these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all act like y'all ain't scared of nothing, man. But guess guess what? You have a bunch of shot. They created y'all, man. Okay, so they know exactly what each and every one of us is afraid of, man. Okay, get all these hard rocks, man. Everybody's hard rock, right? Everybody's thug. A ain't nobody afraid of nothing, right? Well, the God of the Bible got your number, man. They know exactly what you're afraid of, man. And, you and you're not gonna escape your judgment, man. So I gotta read that one more time. That's bad, right there. Psalm chapter eighty-three. I'm saying verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them very, and it's look, it's like it, and make them afraid 
with thy stone. Uh, and that's what's happening right about now. Everybody's afraid now. You know what I'm saying? Look, wh what's the saying in the hood? Don't, don't get scared now. You was hardcore. Don't get scared now. Good luck, like um, the other day. Hell. Hell, man. Just like um, one, one um, city over. You know what I'm saying? One county over, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? The guy that bought was just bring, raining hell down. You know what I'm saying? Breaking car windows. I love it. It was golf ball type hell, um, size hell. Golf ball size hell, man. Dropping down on people's stuff, man. Devouring, breaking, tearing up things. And what in the world is happening? What in the world is happening? It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh visiting you for all your wickedness. That's what's happening. Look, look. Feel thy. Fill their faces with shame. Verse 16. Psalm chapter 83, verse 16. The, hey, you Negroes, Latinos, and American Indians, this is true. And you playing around, get your ass right too. You know what I'm saying? That's including me. Get your ass right, man. Before you get visited with some of this right here. You got guys a lot of gagging and playing around. Get your ass right. Before the God of the Bible visits you. The Apostle say make two, three videos a week. Do it. Okay, before you get visited, man. But you have about Shim Yahweh Shot with devouring fire, man. You know? Ain't none of us got it made, man. All of us should be walking on eggshells, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh about Shim Yahweh Shot, man. Take your heed, man. Nothing comes before Yahweh about Shim Yahweh Shot. Nothing, man. Okay? Once again, fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name. Oh Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Oh look, uh oh, they go the name again. They go the name again. Once again, fill their faces with shame. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, hey, the ones that's getting caught up in the stones right about now, now your face is filled with shame now. You know what I'm saying? But the majority of our people aren't um aren't ashamed for the wickedness that they're doing. You know what I'm saying? For not acknowledging you have Bashim Yahweh Shah. The majority of our people, they're not ashamed. They done lost every damn thing, and they're still not ashamed. They're still not feeling bad for what they have been doing throughout all these years. They ain't feeling bad. That they may seek thy name. That's why, why you think the God of the Bible is bringing all these things, man? So the house of Israel, the nation of Israel, can seek his face, man. That's why the God of the Bible is doing these things to the nation of Israel. So they will seek his face. But only the elect is going to seek the face of Yahweh by Shem Shai, which is his word. And the men out there on the highways of Bible is teaching. If you got a camp in your city, man, hey, look, man, you don't see what's going on. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians talking to the men of our nation. You don't see what's going on. You don't see that the God of the Bible is tearing shit up, man. Get your ass to the nearest camp, man, in your city, man. Or your surrounding city, man. And stand in front of the men of the Lord and get this word inside you, man. And stop playing around. Before you be the next victim, man. You how about Shim Yahweh Shai sick and tired of you bonehead Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Being rebellious, man. And the word rebellion goes back to fighting against uh, fighting against your power, really. You know what I'm saying? You know? The God of the Bible is sick and tired of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians fighting against his word, man. Okay? Going against the grain. Find your camp in your nearest city. You know what I'm saying? And go stand in front of those men and learn something for a change. And start being an asshole all your life, man. Or pray for a spirit. If it ain't no camp in your city, you pray for the to the you pray to your how about Shemel Shai for the spirit to be put on you to go out there and form a camp, man. Don't take all day. Our people think they got all day, man. The people in Houston, they thought they had it all day. But next thing you know, the city is flooded. Now, now, now it's too late, right? Go out there. Once again, fill their faces with shame. That they may seek thy name. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Oh Lord. Look, let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea. Let them be put to shame and perish. This is a prayer, man. This is a song. That two-thirds and you heathens perish, man. Okay? But, but mainly two-thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are Hebrew Israelites, because this word is for you. It says, um, 
that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, are the most high over all the earth, man. Okay? Hey, look, Buddha is not bringing a storm. Allah is not bringing a storm. The Hindu God of Shiva is not bringing a storm. Okay? Who else? Okay, Santa Claus is not bringing a storm. The Easter Bunny is not bringing a storm. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is bringing a storm, man. Okay? And look, and he ain't playing with you. And he ain't playing with you. Get down with the program or lay down. Okay? I got to read that again. Psalm chapter 83 verse 18. That men may know that thou, whose name alone, whose name alone, whose name alone is Yahweh, not Jesus Christ, not God, not the big man in the clouds, okay? But Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, are the most high over all the earth, man, okay? And the whole earth gonna know it soon come. You know what I'm saying? What's the saying go? If you don't know, now you know. It's a, it's a powerful scripture right there, man. Next scripture, Nahum, chapter 1. Yeah. Nahum, chapter 1. I'm going to start at 2. Yahweh is jealous. Women always talking about why you so jealous, why you so jealous, why you men so jealous over, so, over something that's yours. Okay? Because cause we get it from we get it from our daddy. Okay? Okay? We get it from our daddy, the most high Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So the most high is most jealous over his people, man. You know what I'm saying? When they go to worship other gods, pagan gods, idols, so forth and so on, our power is very jealous, man. So once again, Nahum, chapter 1, verse 2. Salakia. Yahweh is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth, and, and is furious. And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, will take vengeance on his adversaries. The Lord is going to take vengeance on his enemies, man. Okay? And he reserveth wrath for his enemies. You have Bashim Yahweh reserveth wrath for his enemies, man. Okay? Like you got a reservation, something that someone holds for you. You have Bashim Yahweh is holding wrath for two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Okay? He's holding wrath for you, man. Okay? And you heathens, of course, but the message is for Israel, man. Okay? It says, The Lord, Yahweh, verse 3. Nahum chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord, Yahweh, verse 3. Is slow to anger. And with and great in power. And will not at all acquit the wicked. Like you see in Esau's um, court system. A wicked person, you know what I'm saying, get acquitted. Meaning, you know what I'm saying, get away with doing wickedness, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said he's not, not going to acquit the wicked. Meaning, you're not going to get away with the wicked things that you're doing, man. You're going to be held accountable for what you're doing, right? It says, um, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, have, have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. Yahweh by Shemel Shai is controlling the storms, man. You know? Boy. Mm -mm. Yahweh by Shemel Shai is controlling the whirlwinds. All that, man. Shall there be evil in a city? Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, have not done it? Okay? Our people are going to get caught up in that, man. Okay? I only got a couple more scriptures, then I'm going to wrap it up. 
Yahweh Bashimel Shah is not going to acquit the wicked of our people. Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Like I said before, of course, he's going to destroy the heathens. But this message is for you bonehead Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Get it together, man. Man, get it together. Get it together. Going back to the book of Isaiah. And I, and I got I got plenty of scriptures, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shemir Rashad. But the Lord only want me to bring out some points, man. This is Isaiah chapter 30. Verse 30. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemir Rashad, shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. And shall show the lightning down of his arm. With indignation. Of his anger, meaning righteous anger. What the God of the Bible is doing right about now, he's showing his righteous anger. When the Lord starts killing every damn body that you see, guess what? That's the Lord showing his righteous anger, man. His indignation, man. That's what the word indignation means. It means righteous anger, man. The Lord is righteous in all his dealings, man. In all his doings, man. Okay? All these people getting killed, you think you think they was good people, right? You think they was doing such a good job, right? They was helping out the earth, right? So the God killed them right now, man. Nah, the, the God of the Bible was angry with them, man. And that's how the God of the Bible showed his anger, by taking their ass out, man. So once again, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 30. And the Lord, Yahweh, but Shemia Rashad, shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. And shall show the lightning down of his arm with indignation of his anger. And with flames, it's like a... And with the flame of a devouring fire. All these fires you see. And plus when that lightning hit man. It creates fire. And you got fires everywhere. And like I mentioned. California um, got one of the biggest forest fires. That they didn't ever see man. Okay. Who, who's doing that? You how about Shemiah was trying to say the fire was started by lightning. It says. um, And with the flame of a devouring fire. With scattering. And tempest and hailstorm. I mentioned hailstorm. There was hailstorm last weekend. You got hailstorms going on as I speak, man. The God, the Bible is not playing, man. They they have never been something to play around with. Never, man. And I got two more, and I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna go to the um, cause I said um, more storms are coming. I'm gonna read this right quick, cause this is this is part of that storm too. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, will come with fire. Look, look, this is the ultimate fire now, man. This is the ultimate fire that the scriptures is talking about. So the Lord, when he do come, he's coming with fire. You know what I'm saying? Concentrated fire, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of the chariots, a.k.a. those laser beams. And those ICBM missiles, man, those nukes. It's going to be shot over here from China, Russia, you know what I'm saying, North Korea, South Korea, Iran, all America allies, you know what I'm saying, is going to shoot nukes on this bitch, okay? This whore, a.k.a. America, to sit upon, to sit up upon, you know what I'm saying, the dragon, that beast, will be destroyed, okay? Once again, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, will come with fire. And with this chariots, like a whirlwind, what you eagerly call UFOs, that's what the Lord is coming on. That's what the Lord is coming back, riding on, along with the angels, man. Okay? You know what I'm saying? And with his chariots, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury. You have Bashim Yahweh is coming back angry and pissed the hell off. You don't want to see that. You think you do, but you don't want to see it. And his rebuke with flames of fire. We trying to we rebuking our people with this word, but they don't want to. They don't want to get cursed out with the words you have. But you never shine. So he's coming with flames of fire, right? For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord, you have but you never shine, shall be many. So what we're seeing right about now is nothing. What that song say? You ain't seen nothing yet. Baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. 
We ain't seen nothing yet, man. The God of the Bible's getting ready to really bring it, you know what I'm saying, to the earth, man. You know? Mainly, mainly to America. He's going to bring it, man. Okay? Once again, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, shall be many. Whatever happened to everybody being saved, man. Whatever happened to all about love, the God in the Bible, he's bringing love, man. He loves all the little children all over the world. Whatever happened to that song, man. You know what I'm saying? That song is contrary to the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? And he is going to bring love, you know what I'm saying, to the ones that took heed to the word. Everybody else is going to die a horrible death. And I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. We just know that a storm, a mighty storm and tempest coming, man. Worse than what you've been seeing them. Now, I, I, I might got two, man, because I just ran across the scripture that quick. Through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shemel Shai, he said, brain two. He said, brain two. So I'm going to brain two. This is Job, chapter four, verse seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, Whoever died being innocent, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you sue, that you do see getting killed, want nothing innocent about them, man. It was wicked as hell, man. Okay, the man, the man, woman, and their child got killed. You know what I'm saying? Cause they want innocent, man. Okay, your grandma with them big ass ankles catching gout and all that, getting her leg amputated. When she died, guess what? She didn't die being innocent, man. Okay, once again. The, the dude on the corner selling drugs, all of a sudden somebody come by and do a drive-by and blast his ass down. And then you all in church hooping and hollering, crying for this, this wicked Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian. They wasn't innocent. Remember that. So Job chapter 4 verse 7. Remember, I pray thee. This is the most high speaking. Remember, I pray thee. Whoever perish being innocent or where were the righteous cut off. I'm saying the righteous is not gonna be forsaken, man. The wicked is gonna get cut off. Okay, the wicked of, the, of this earth are, are gonna get cut off, man. Everybody that died on nobody innocent, man. You know. Now, now you do gonna have martyrs for your how about Shemiah was shot, but the wicked of our people, the wicked of the earth, when you die, you didn't die innocent, man. Okay. Read that again. My baby didn't do nothing wrong. My baby, man, get out of here with that nonsense, man. He wasn't innocent when he got his head blasted off, okay? They weren't innocent when they got drowning in the floods and their bodies floating on top of water in them, okay? With their ass up, in, up to the, towards the sky, man, okay? And their body all swollen gray, man, okay? Once again, Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish. Being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? And going back to the statement, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the, one of the elder brothers, you know what I'm saying, from Houston, the elder brother Tazafa from the um, GMS channel, um, Thy Will Be Done, you know what I'm saying? He made a wonderful statement, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. The so called white men tell you that a storm is coming, and what our people do, they raid the grocery stores, man. They get every canned good, every um, loaf of bread, every um, thing. Thing of water, you know what I'm saying? And they leave the shelves bare. They don't leave nothing on the shelves. The so called white men tell our people that and they go run to the grocery stores. You know what I'm saying? They go get um, generators, they go get candles, they go get flashlights, they go get flashlight batteries. We come and warn them that America is going to be destroyed. Death and destruction is coming and they don't even bat an eye, man. Okay? They don't think twice about the message that we're giving them. But, but you're going to wish you would have hearkened to the words of your how about Shemel Shah when all hell break loose. You're going to wish you did. That's why the, that's why the scriptures say, you know what I'm saying, they're going to run to and fro trying to seek the words of the Lord. But they ain't going to find it, man. Okay? Get Look, get it now. Okay? So this is the last scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. Job chapter 8, verse 20. Behold. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, 
will not cast away a perfect man. The Lord is not going to cast away the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, I'm part of that, man. A storm is coming. Lord willing, I'm part of that, man. And I know you brothers out there that's watching the videos, the hopeful elect, I know y'all praying the same prayer, man. You know what I'm saying? Let the Lord have mercy on you in that day. We bring more storms, man. So once again, Job chapter 8, verse 20. Behold, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will not cast away a perfect man. Listen to this right here. Neither will he help the evildoers. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai is not going to cast away the perfect man. Neither. What? Neither will he help the evildoers. You out there gang banging, selling drugs, committing adultery, meaning messing with the next man's woman. You out there eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. I'm saying you worshiping these idols. I'm saying um, Buddha, Santa Maria. I'm saying Allah and all this nonsense. The Hindu god of Shiva. You know, you are doing all kind of wickedness on the corner selling drugs. I mentioned gang banging. You know, you worshiping these different philosophies: Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. And you ain't trying to repent. The God of the Bible says he's not going to hear you. He's not going to help you. Okay? He's not helping the evildoers, man. Okay? That's why these people hooping and hollering, man. You know what I'm saying? The God of the Bible said no, no, no. No, no, no. Matter, matter of fact, I, I was going to end right there, but the God of the Bible, you have about Shemir Shah, because I don't control nothing. So you have about Shemir Shah, said, bring out one more. You, you bring out as many that I want you to bring out. That's what you do. You follow orders. So Jeremiah chapter 11. Verse, it's like your Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 11. Then said the Lord unto me, Yehiel Bashimiah was shot. Pray not for this people for their good. So we ain't praying for two thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. We're not praying that you, that you have a happy life. You know what I'm saying? That the God of the Bible do good to you. The God of the Bible says he's not helping the evil doers, man. Hey, that, hey, more storms are coming, man. This is a, this is a warning. This, this is a warning from your how about Shimei was shot. Hey, look, if you ain't right, then get right. If you ain't right, then get right. Ezekiel chapter 3. Verse 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. Greater storms are coming. The storm that you see in there, more powerful storms are coming. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, get your act together. We're giving you warning from your high about Shemir the God of the Bible, man. Regardless if you're here for a bit, you have been warned. And with that, man, hey, the videos that we do only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, okay? Hope brothers are edified and your few sisters out there that's taking heed to the words of your high about Shemir Hey, hey, don't turn back. Don't turn back. Hey, and with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Once again, that's who you eagerly call God in Jesus Christ. Double honors to the head apostles of Great Millstone and the elders on down for teaching me the truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings, man, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Stay strong, keep the faith, keep pushing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, regardless of people here for a bit. A greater storm is coming, more fire is coming. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Get your act together. Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. To the elect of the nation of Israel, once again, keep the faith. Pray for more faith. Death to America. Death to two-thirds. Death to you heathens. Kwam Yasha Allah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.